um, today we're talking about um the Amazon bestsellers on Blu-ray. Also, I completely underestimated um my back to that, so I thought it would completely flop. And I was doing actually better than way better than I expected. I was going up based off predictions on the site. Um, but I, I was also underestimating Godzilla's sales, which I apologize to Godzilla for underestimating you at all. <laughs> Alright, Man Back is still not going to make a billion, sell a billion million Blu-rays, but it's, it's still not selling, okay, it's still selling poorly, um, it go to Blu-rays of 2019, um, Man Back is around here, which is, it's, it's not yet, Man Back is will probably won't get into the top 20, um, or probably be in there for like one week, cause John Wick and Aladdin are gonna get out in the next week, and they're gonna sell like 400,000. Which means Bam Back and Nasty will not be in the top 20. And God, and the Lego Movie 2 will be at 20. <laughs> and then, Bam Back and Nasty will not reach the top 20 at all. Okay. So yes, Bam Back and Nasty will still not be doing as well. Pets 2 will not reach the top 20 at all either. Um, I was under, I was... Pets 2 is gonna have legs compared to the other movie. Um. And that was, I think, Pets 2's first week. Um, and what's the counting this week as well with Godzilla? Which they are, but they don't have Man Back. Oh, they do have Man Back Dash, so is that 41 actually? Um, it is actually updated for this week. So Man Back Dash was only at 41, Pets 2, 25, so it's going to outsell Halloween and Venom by the end of next week. Um, Rocket Man is the one that's not really doing too well. Um, not surprised though, but. This is not about the best selling Blu rays. This is about the on Amazon, okay? Well, it is Man Back International, Dark Phoenix, and Captain Marvel. Um, Sadly, Weird Bell Angel is not selling on Amazon for some weird reason. Probably because, um, Amazon's kind of all the diehard fans buy stuff because most people who go and buy are gonna buy at the store, okay? At Best Buy and on other websites, Weird Bell Angel is still selling on there. Because Weird Bell Angel is still making the charts on Blu rays. My Far From Home is at number one for a full game Blu ray. Um, Toy Story 4. I, 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 for some reason, I keep underestimating this movie's success, okay? I was saying it's not gonna go to a billion dollars because it only made 200 million its first week. Um, and it only reached like 60% of its foreign markets. I didn't know it would have that great of rates, so. I didn't know. I, I I was thinking Toy Story 4 was gonna end up with 800 to 900 million worldwide to at least very close to a billion dollars. Hocus Pocus is a movie that's been out for a while, for a long time. As people, all the people are buying it. Um, for the kids, for Halloween movies, Aladdin and John Wick. Aladdin finally passed John Wick. It took them a month or so. I knew eventually it was gonna happen because Aladdin's a PG movie and. John Wick is a hard hour movie. Um, I knew it was eventually gonna happen, but John Wick beat Aladdin for basically a month. Um, it just shows how great John Wick had done at home video. Remember before Christmas, it's another, I thought that was a Christmas movie, but it gets the whole movie. It's a, a movie i never seen before either. Doctor Who, very popular. Not the new one, the old one. Downtown Abbey, that just came out, and it did pretty well at the box office actually. Endgame, number 10. Free from Hell, never heard of this movie before. <sighs> I don't know what. Did this come on, Feeders? Um, Free from Hell, Back to the Future. This movie's actually still doing pretty okay for being a movie that nobody watched. Midsummer, Deadwood the movie, The Am's Family movie, Correction. Annabelle, um, comes home. 29, no, no, no one's buying this movie, Annabelle Comes Home. No one likes this movie. Um, next is X-Men Dark Phoenix. Um, oh yeah, so it's not even top 10 anymore. It was in top 10 for like two weeks, and that's it. Dark Phoenix is now falling down the charts like Man Back to Nashville did. Man Back to Nashville was actually was at number 20 for like two weeks as well, because there was no other releases coming out. But now all the big releases are coming out, Free From Hell, 4K. Do not know what this is about. Um, yesterday is out selling. No, it's here. Number nineteen. Dragon Ball Super, Doom Patrol season one, King Kong, the two thousand five movie Casper, a uh, classic, Minions, 
um, the signing Harry Potter eight movie collection is higher than Man Back to the National. Okay, I open company. I don't know why this movie is so popular. Um, <laughs> or of on here, but it is John Wick Chapter Three at Blu-ray. Viking season five and Man Back to the National below is at number forty three. Okay. Captain Marvel, where was Captain Marvel? Okay. Captain Marvel is <laughs> forty three. It's B World Seagull F Pets 2 and Joker. Oh it's, it's that low now, Captain Marvel. Okay. Zam is at forty seven. Well, it's a wee way into the top one hundred. No, it isn't. I think Amazon is trying to say, oh no, it's by the way, the Bell Angel, yay, so it can prove that it starts selling. You see, oh, this is even more disaster for the two movies. Just look at this. Doc Phoenix 42. Remember back to the National 9 Top 100. Top 50. International at 69. Doc Freaks DVD and Captain Marvel's 9 Top 100. And that's basically it. Goodbye.